Welcome guys. In this video, we will be talking about variables in C programming. So let's create a new file called programming.c. Sorry, variables.c. Let's declare the header std io dot h then also let's create our very simple and basic function now what you need to know with variables in c is that variables Are located space in memory. Refer so you refer to a variable name to assess the stored value, and also you have to declare the data type before storing value so let's see this in action so what this means is your variable is an allocated space in the, in the memory now when you have a variable name that variable name is storing a value and to be able to assess that value, you have to refer to the variable or the variable name. But before you declare a variable, you have to declare the data type. Now, there are two ways to declare a variable. The first step is to declare, then you initialize. So let's assume we have a variable called x. And we are storing numbers. So integer x is equal to 1, 2, 3. What we've done right now is called declaration after you declare oh sorry this what we've done here is called declaration so without storing anything it is called declaration now after you've declared the variable you can now store value into it and this is called initialization but there is a faster way to do it instead of typing two lines of code and that is you declare and initialize at the same time and we have this int y is equal to 456 and this is what we call declare declaration plus initialization so most variables that will be declaring will be declared like this where, by line 10 where we declare and we initialize at the same time. Now, let's create some series of variables and let's store different values into them. Let's call these variables a comment. The first one is age. Let's store a value for age is equal to 21 and this is an integer the second one is a floating point number so you use floats so this is the data type then 3.45 a floating point number is any number that has a decimal point So let's call this GPA is equal to 3.45 and this is a floating point number. The next one is a single character. You use char to store a single character. So let's say char grade that is in char means character is equals to and you use a single apostrophe 
So this person add B as a grade. So this is single character. Now let's try to store a string, a series of character. C does not have the string data type. So instead, you use what is known as a character array. So let's go char name. Then you put the character, this array symbol. We are going to touch on array in subsequent videos. Then you use double quotes. Don't always forget your semicolon. Very important. Your semicolon is important in C. Your semicolon is what ends your statement. So this is a array of character. And now that we have an array of character, let's print them on the screen. But before you print, you have to know something called a format specifier. I'm going to touch more on it on another video, but you just need to know what they are. So, a format specifier is what makes it easy for you to assess your variable types. So, let's do the first print F. Hello. Let's refer to my name. So, if I want to get the value of my name, I need to use the format specifier, then S. The format specifier for string is S then close the apostrophe, comma, then the variable name. The next one, let's assess the value of my age. Oh, I don't, yeah, I have age right here. Print F. Your fake that's not my real age. Your fake age is format specifier for number or integer is a D. Close that. Then write out the variable name that you want to assess. Let's call out the GPA. Your GPA is your fake GPA is format specifier for a float number is F. Then you write out the variable name GPA. And last but not the least, print F. Your grade, your fake grade is a format specifier for a single character is C. I'll call this grade. Let's run this code and see what we get as our return or what we get printed out on the screen. So I'll run it. As you can see, it's all out here. Hello, precious serial. Oh, your fake age is 21. Your GPA is this. Your fake grade is this. But I intentionally refused to do this before so that you would understand what is happening. Now let's use our new line. Let's use our new line sequences. So to put them all in a new line, we use for slash n just after this after the ending of the of the uh, sentences so that we can see them properly save and let's rerun this as you can see they are all on different lines now what if we want to use them all in one complete sentence so let's say print f my name is 
then you use this formal specifier for for the character s my name is i am for age d because we want to bring in the age i am years old i scored Formal specifier for the character C, I scored C grade in the exam. Then my my GPA is formal specifier for the float is. Then now we need to arrange all the arrays it as just as the way they will appear. So the first one is name. So we have the variable name followed by variable age followed by the grade that's the variable grade grade right here and followed by variable gpa so let's see what we get on our screen I've used them all in one sentence. Let's see the return. Let me clear this and let's go over it. Let's do it. Oh, sorry. You see, always close with your semicolon. Very important. Close with your semicolon. It's good that you see me making this mistake so that you won't have to do it on your own. So let's rerun it. Um, yet to save. Yes. So close your semicolon for every statement end it with a semicolon then let's run hello precious this is the first one we did the first three okay we converted the last one now see your fake grid sorry 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 oh let's put a new line here and let's save that let's clear again and now we have it so the first four that we did up here this four is showing on the screen but also the last one that we just did the long sentence my name is precious serial i am 21 years old i scored b grade in the exam my gpa not gps my gpa my gpa is 3. Point, my gpa is 3.4 just for um, posterity let me spell that correctly let me also spell this i think i saw another mistake there my name is for posterity let me spell all that correctly now let me rerun it so my name is this i am this i scored b in the exam my gpa is this so i'll see you in the next video thank you